Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to find out what are the parts of a family law case. Now, Florida family law can be different once you're going into court, whether it's a divorce, paternity, child support, you're dealing with assets, alimony, partitions of properties. There's so many things that can happen within one family law case. However, the legal process itself is essentially the same. Keep in mind that what I'm gonna be discussing is the steps as of the date you enter into court, which is the original filing up until the potential endpoints. A lot of this can be handled or figured out prior to litigation. However, I'm just gonna focus on the day you file your case with court to the day that you get a final judgment. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos. The first thing that gets you in the door of the courthouse for a family law case is your pleadings. The pleadings is the petition that you're going to file to let the court know that you are doing what is called seeking relief from the court. Whether it's a divorce petition, child support, paternity, it all starts with a petition being filed within the court. From there, you get the other party served. You have to have a summons attached with that. And depending on the case, there's some other documents. However, all those things would have to be filed, served on the other party, and they would have 20 days to file an answer or response. Now, keep in mind that in most cases, the other party can not only file their answer or response, but they can file a counter petition asking for a set of things against the original party. That party would have 20 days to also file an answer or response to it. And then the pleading phase is considered closed. Keep in mind that there's other nuances that can come up, such as motion to dismiss, motion to transfer venue, and some other more complex stuff. However, that all falls within the pleading phase that I'm discussing. If there's some aspect of that that you're curious about, let us know in the comments and we'll make a video about it. Once the pleading phase is closed, you start moving into what is called the discovery slash motion practice phase. In this part of the case, Discovery is exchanged. Under Florida law, if any of your case involves financial matters, which can include child support, alimony, and equitable distribution, you are required to produce what is called mandatory disclosure. That is currently under rule 12.285 of the Family Law Rules of Procedure. Within these rules, there's a list of items that you are required to produce to include a financial affidavit. If your case has those financial issues, those are some things you're gonna to have to exchange with the other party and the other party will have to exchange with you. The deadline for this is typically 45 days after the original party was served. However, you can request extensions, but make sure you understand these rules to make sure the court cannot find you sanctionable for failure to comply. What also can happen during this period is that you can file what is called for a temporary relief or file various motions related to your case. The simplest motions can be motions to compel items or documents that you may not have been produced, but it can be a little bit more advanced. You can start getting into things for motions for let's say temporary time sharing, temporary alimony, attorney's fees, or you can file for temporary time sharing or to establish paternity in the early steps of the case. This part is not straightforward and can get very complicated. So if you're gonna go about this pro se, which is essentially self-represented, you wanna make sure you understand it. And if you do have an attorney, feel free to ask about it and see which way the attorney would guide you in terms of strategically navigating your case. From there, you can go to mediation. This to me is the best place to resolve your case if you're already in court. This is the opportunity in which you and the other party can truly resolve your matter without having the court tell you what it's going to be. I am a huge advocate 
of parents resolving their cases on their own and not allowing the court system to make the decision for them. Mediation is where you and your attorney, if you have one, go into a room or Zoom conference with the other party and their attorney if they have one, and you have a third party mediator, an unbiased person who assists you with working through your issues and potentially coming up with a resolution. If you are able to do this, your case is over. You guys finalize the issues and you guys get a final judgment and that's it. Congratulations, you officially have a family case done. However, if you're unable to resolve by this point, you have to go to a final hearing or a trial. Something to note is that as family law currently is written in the state of Florida, you are required to attend mediation before getting to a final hearing. However, in some cases, the courts can exclude this requirement and allow you to go straight to trial. However, unless your facts very specifically would necessitate you avoiding mediation, I would strongly suggest you give it a try. Now, the final step in most typical family law cases is the final hearing or trial. This is where it all goes down. If you're not able to resolve your case, if there's any points of issues in which you're not agreeing to with the other parent, this is when you get in front of the judge. You lay out your facts and positions, making sure you understand the evidentiary and discovery rules, and you present your case to the court, and so does the other parent. This is the part where you put your final hearing, your full case in front of the judge to make final consideration. You get an opportunity to present your case, and so does the other party, keeping in mind the discovery and evidentiary rules of a trial. From there, after hearing the necessary facts or considerations, the courts makes a final ruling and determination on whatever issues is presented before it, and a final judgment gets issued. In my experience, there is very rarely a slam dunk family law case. There are always strengths in a person's case, and there are always weaknesses. I always suggest to my clients, take in consideration your best day in court with your worst day in court. And somewhere in between is reality. That being said, sometimes cases just have to go to trial. Sometimes your position needs to be heard. Sometimes you guys just can't agree on an issue and the judge has to be the decider. And that's okay. So that's pretty much the overall of a basic family law case. There are definitely things I'm missing, such as appeals, which is the process in which if for some reason there is a decision made by the court, depending on what it is, but normally after the final hearing, you can actually apply to have the District Court of Appeals reconsider the trial court's decision based on a certain limited set of circumstances. This is usually done with a motion for rehearing prior to that time. However, this gets really, really complicated and not every decision made by the court is something that in and of itself you can appeal and be victorious. There is also the steps that if the third DCA either agrees or disagrees with your position, you can also go to the Florida Supreme Court to address and challenge your case. Now, this is far more complicated and this happens far less. However, this is something that can move your case along and it is part of the overall legal process in family law. And that's the general family law process here in the state of Florida. Nine times out of 10, if your case is contested and it hasn't been resolved prior, you'll have to go through pleadings. You'd have to do some discovery, possibly some motions. You're gonna go through mediation and if you're not able to resolve, you're gonna to have to go to a final hearing. So if you or someone you know is going through a family law matter or is considering getting in the family court, please contact our office, set a consultation, and let us help you. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.